Well, hello guys, and welcome to FC25 Road to Glory. We're going to be starting now. Last year, I did give up after a month or two. Uh, I didn't like the game at all, and the initial plan was to stream FIFA. So, well, FC. So yeah, it just didn't happen. But this year, we're going to go again. I do like this game a bit better. I think there's more features on it. Uh, I did mess up the first video. I didn't put my webcam on webcam on even when I started recording so I'm gonna to have to do a voiceover over this with the webcam on because I also didn't have my mic turned on clever me but yeah let's crack on let's get into it see how this goes because I've never done it like this before I will go back to recording voice and cam while I do stuff in future but for this video we are just gonna get cracking Yes, once it goes into it, there we go. Alright, squad update as per when you first go into it. And there we go. So, this voice is going to be a little bit annoying, but we did pick Brazil for the starter pack. So, let's see what we've got. Luana, not brilliant, but you don't expect anything good out of these first ones. Uh, obviously, it's just a start, so that is what we have ended up with. Uh, we can build from this, obviously, we're going to have a few welcome back packs and whatever else. But yeah, it's basic, basic. Let's get the loan done. Now, with the loan, I did pick a goalkeeper. I don't know why. It just happens. It's silly me. I didn't realise you could go back and pick another player and do it that way and it'd give you different players. So, we did end up picking Martinez because I normally start with a Prem team and go from there. So, yeah, we went with Martinez. Our voice is there again. That's going to be quite annoying. With the kits, I tend to just pick popular kits. I'm not sure if you can sell them again this year, but I know on previous years you could sell them, so that was the end for that. Once we get some more kits, we can get rid of them if it lets you sell them. Same again with the badge, I don't think badges sell much, but there we go. That's where we are. So, yep, there's the rewards. But, well, one of the rewards is just your badges and your kits and stuff. Uh, nothing really that we're going to use. Club member Evo, I'm not 100% sure what it is. I didn't do Evolutions last year. I don't know why, I just didn't. But yeah, we'll have a look at that when we get round to it. Uh, we're going to click play now here, I think, yeah. And then we're going to get straight into what we do next. And we'll go straight to the store. We should have some packs waiting for us. Now we're not expecting to get anything really in these. Uh, obviously we just welcome back packs, they're not brilliant. It's just a few packs to help you get started with the game, obviously when you've got no coins, no players. Hopefully we can get something good, you shall see in a minute. So we'll start from the beginning, start with the silver players pack. I do like the animation for these new packs, walking down the tunnel. I will say that one straight up. I think it's a big improvement on last year. Now obviously in a silver pack we were never going to get anything good. I don't know what silver players sell, but these are all untradeable anyway. But yeah, that's what we got in the silver pack. Like I say, nothing major. Oh, they do sell. So that's me wrong. Right, next one. Something from the Saudi League. No. This is... Boonu. I think is how you pronounce it. Again, not something we're going to use going for a Prem team. But it could come in handy down the road when we start making other teams. See, this one's not tradable, so I was right. 3,000 coins, 
We'll take that right at the start. Next part. Left mid from Brazil, Serie A. And we have got... David Neres. Again, I'm not going to use it because we're on for a Prem team to start with. But it could come in handy as a sub because it doesn't look like too bad a card. Harvey Barnes will probably use straight away, so that's not bad. Next pack. Moffy, French League. Uh, doesn't look like too bad a card. Probably use it as a super sub or something. It's got a decent pace. I feel like pace is going to be a good one. Next pack. CDM, German. Bundesliga and it is going to be by a level cruising Andrik pace is absolutely shambolic again could be used as a sub near the start you never know either way it all helps next pack we are gonna go and get a French guy from the French league well it could be a woman as well Nice who is it? It is Klaus. Now he's got a decent pace. Could be a decent starter right back. I'm not sure what other positions he plays in, but again, could be used quite near the start. Next, we're going to have centre mid. Italian Serie A. The team is going to be. I am not sure what badge that is, but it's going to be Fratesi. Again, not the best, but could be a player we use near the start. I'll move the lady in there as well, not good. And this one, it was the lone pack. I don't know why it brings the stadiums up first, but the lone we get is Martinez, also from the Italian league. Not a bad player. Next one, we get Bellingham and the Ambassador loan. There are the choices for that. Now, my obvious thinking was go for a Prem one since we're going to be using a Prem team. So it was between Alexander Arnold, Son, and Foden. So we narrow that down to Son and Foden, and in the end, well, you got to go Foden really, and your Son wouldn't have been a bad choice either. But yeah, Foden. I quite like Foden, so we use him. Next one, I wasn't sure what this, but another evolution one maybe. Either way, that's in the club. And then the last one we'll get to is the only tradable origin hero I got for pre-order. Didn't actually pre-order. I got it on the EA Play Pro. But yeah, let's get this open and see what we got. Please give us something good, EA. Come on, please give us something good. And we end up with a Tim Howard. So we've got an untradeable goalkeeper, it will get upgraded in November, so we'll see there. Next we're going to do the preview pack, and we've got a Mateus Cunha. Not that we're going to take this preview pack, because there's not much else in it, and it's not going to equate to the money it would cost if we were to buy it. Not that we've got the coins at the moment anyway. So next, the FIFA points that we got. We are going to use just to get a few packs to boost us at the start. So it'll be 1600 a month. And we'll go with two 7.5k packs. Anything in this one? No. 57 pace. Absolutely shocking. So we'll go with one more of these. Alright, yeah, we'll go with one more of these. Let's see what we can get in this one. And it is going to be a Totti, which we will probably use in our starter team, being Prem, and he doesn't look too bad as a centre-back. Now next we'll go with the Premium Gold Players Pack, we can do two of these. So what we're going to get in the first one, we are going to get a CDM from Portugal. Saudi League, so probably not going to be used regardless. And it is going to be... Ruben Nevers. Not bad rating, 84 rated, but not ideal as it's not going to get used and it's not the best 84 rated card you could get. Graven Birch on the other hand, uh, we could use. So, next one of these. 
Let's get that open. Come on here, give us something good. Centre mid, Brazilian, Serie A. And it is a Juventus. Douglas Louise. So, Serie A, not, probably not going to use it. The start could come in handy as a sub, but not brilliant. And nothing else really in that one. In goal, possibly. Right, and the last pack is this Prime Gold Players pack. Let's have a look what we got in this one. And then that's the FIFA points gone. Centre back, French centre back. Tell by that it's not going to promote PSG. Do it in the women's league. And it is Mbok. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I've butchered it. But either way, it's not a brilliant card. 84 rated again. But yeah, it's not going to be used if we're being honest. But yes, guys, I did have to play around, see what we had in the club. This is the team I've built. I'll probably sort some super subs out to bring on because some of them aren't the best. So at the start of the next video, or in the next video should I say, I will probably get some objectives done. Maybe get some squad battles done offline, just, well, while I'm not recording, just so I've got a few coins. Then we'll have a look on the transfer market and see where we can upgrade the team. And then when we've got some more players we might go into some games i don't know yet we'll just see where it takes us but yeah i'm gonna end the video there for this time nice short video to get us started hope you like the video please like please subscribe if you did and i'll see you on the next one Umpa!